You've got um, Addison, who's nine, you've got Harley, who's seven, Kennedy, who's two, and Elijah, who's one. Yep. And it's Kennedy that's your favourite. She is, yep. Kennedy is just all round nicer to be around. In 2018, this woman shocked the world by revealing she had a favourite child. But though most parents would never say it out loud, she's not alone. 10% of parents admit to having a favourite child, but when we use other methods, observational methods, or we ask questions in a different way, we find that about 75% of parents actually show preferential treatment towards one child. I just sort of want to post the power rankings every morning so my kids know where they rank. <laughs> The best route to becoming the golden child is to be born last, or failing that, be just like your folks. The youngest one does come up trumps more often than the other children in the family. But yes, actually how you relate to that child, how much there is a personality sort of similarity between the two of you, that absolutely makes a difference as well. When tennis star Andy Murray met Chelsea manager Jose Mourinho, his proud mum posted this photo with the caption, the special one with my special one. A sweet gesture. Until you realise Andy has a brother. So, what happens when you're the black sheep of the flock? Research shows non-favourite kids can suffer from low self-esteem, anxiety, depression and risky behaviour, which can last all the way into adulthood. Password clue? Favourite child? Ooh. Ah. Ouch. Sorry, man. This is awkward. What the what? I think where it gets tricky is particularly where you see parental time and resources being very unequally spent. And in fact, we do know that that can get a little bit nasty between siblings. So siblings can start bullying each other and acting out in all sorts of ways. Any honest parent would admit to having a favourite. All right, you first. Who's yours? Anne. You said that alarmingly quickly. Well, because it didn't require thought. Philip. And your favourite is... I don't know. Liar. I like to believe that I don't have a favourite child. I have five children, um, but my children are used to me telling them over and over again what an easy baby number four was. He was outstanding. <laughs> and so I don't doubt that some of those babies that are difficult, and that's in fact what we call it, a difficult temperament, uh, are more likely to fall into that least favourite basket. So if you do have a child you feel is superior to their siblings, remember... Honesty is not the best policy. If you're aware that you have a favourite child, I would suggest keeping that to yourself. <laughs> this is exactly why I'm only going to have one child. <laughs> I just... Then she can get her anxiety and depression the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Janetta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the worst. It was, it was getting dark at a playground and we had to go and both of my kids ran off in different directions. So I had to choose. <gasps> and I screamed out, don't make me choose! <laughs> and I chose. Just to sit down and let them run away. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great swing. It's a great swing. Where do you sit in your family? Because sometimes bet... it's older, middle or youngest, mm. isn't it? See, I reckon I would have been the favourite as the baby. And then it changes, though, I reckon, because you bring in some hormonal teenage angst, mm. and I had plenty of that, and, you know, you go down in the rankings. Mm. And now I'm not bringing grandchildren around. I reckon there's no chance of me getting up to the top. Your sisters are going to be... <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. they are. Yeah. OK, well, you're my favourite child. Oh. Aww. <laughs> I mean, no, no, my actual child. <laughs> <laughs> That's on record, actually. <laughs> oh, no. On record. <laughs>